What's up, Padawan? What's up, Padawan? Uh, I guess you heard about this, Rachel Dozario. Dozario posing as a black person. Now, to me, that that kind of got me messed up about her lying about her race and stuff about what she, uh, is she black or is she white? And uh, I thought it was kind of fucked up for her to do that. A white woman posing as a black person. But I'm gonna show the video where she got caught in her lie. Here we go. I'm gonna show it. she said and to me I think it's bullshit that she that some people are trying to compare it to the whole Bruce Jenner and to Caitlyn Jenner to me it's not it's, it's not in the same boat nowhere near it you can't compare that situation to this situation to a person with a gender identity issue to a person with a racial issue now I can walk around and say I am black because I am mixed. My mother is white, my father is black, but I'm not going to sit there and pull this same stunt and say hey, I'm a Mexican. My daddy black and my mama white, I'm a Mexican. I can't do that. To me, that is bullshit. To try to tell the world that you black knowing that you got white parents. These are her parents. You cannot sit up and say, my father is black and your daddy is white as snow. <clears throat> How you going to sit there and say, I consider myself black? Look, man, just because you marry a black man doesn't make you black. See, this is what I've been talking about. This is what I've been talking about since day one with this shit. I did a video. I did a video about this, about how 
black uh, what was it black folks or uh, versus niggas black folks versus niggas and when you walk around as a black person you somebody because you don't sit there and give it the stereotype but when you walk around as a nigga you get white folks trying to give in to that attempt to, uh, trying to take that culture into being a nigga now she took down the picture off her Facebook page but to me it's like this you white your parents are white why you walk around walk around this country walk around this world telling the world that you're black you cannot compare your racial problem with your with a gender problem a gender problem is where people know they're different that they was born in the wrong body you cannot compare yo oh I'm black but my parents are white my mom and dad are white you can't compare that to uh, I'm a man but I feel like I'm a woman trapped in a man's body I mean yeah you can't compare that people who suffer through transgender problems they get that stuff fix where they can feel comfortable in their own body but when you pose as a minority like a black person that is like a huge smack in, my, in black people's faces in my face and every other I remember what was it back in the 90's what was it uh Ted Denza uh was dating uh, Whoopi Goldberg and he wore blackface he wore blackface and called a lot of hell for it and that was back in the 90's he called hell for that and it's something else I and it's something that you don't sit there and do, man. That's something you don't do. That's something you don't do. You don't walk around saying that you, you black and you white as snow. And that's something I look. See, this is the this is the picture of Ted Dance. This is back in the '90s, late '80s, early '90s, where he was dating Whoopi Goldberg at the time. He was dating Whoopi Goldberg at the time where he did this stunt. He caught a lot of hell for it. For a white man that ended up on a hit show called Cheers and was doing CSI. did a movie with Macaulay Culkin getting even with dad did a show called Becker this man called a lot of hell for pulling that blackface stuff he put he, he got a lot of heat for it how come this make it no I'm, I'm comparing this how can this man catch more catch a whole bunch of hell for blackfacing itself but this woman don't catch enough hell for doing the same damn thing just because you perm your hair and lay out in the sun and get a damn tan doesn't consider yourself a black person to me in, in, in my eyes in my eyes it's like this yes, if you can get to my eyes if I, if, if, if I was every other if I was every black person in this world now I'm gonna I'm 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 say this before I finish the statement. If you can get mad at something like this, a white man going blackface, <coughs> for a white man to go blackface, why can't you get mad at this woman for pulling the same damn stunt, perming her hair and getting a little tan, getting a tan, posing as oh I feel black. You cannot sit there and say I have a racial problem. I need to get that fixed. You can't do that. <coughs> I remember. What was it? People got mad. People got mad. When 
when he did Trump, when Robert Downey Jr. did Tropical Thunder, and he did that blackface, people did get mad about. It. They some people thought it was funny because it was a white actor playing a white actor who thought he, they played a black actor. And I thought it was something that people thought it was fun. To me, this is no laughing matters when a person, a white, really a white person, walks around like this. See, Robert Downey Jr. got played to play a white actor playing as a black person. If you've seen the movie Tropical Thunder, you know what I'm talking about because I thought it was funny as fuck and I did get a little offensive, but it was more funny than offensive. This was offensive too. But I still like Ted Dancing because I thought it was great in fucking Cheers and Becker and CSI. But when I see somebody that's the president of the NAACP sitting up there posing as a black person, that was a big smack in my damn face. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I told y'all, it's like when you, when it came down to the whole, came down to when black folks become niggas, white folks want to become niggas too. See what I'm saying? You see a woman, she wants to be a nigga. You do not want that kind of shit in your life. The same stuff that black folks go to, you do not want in your life. It's a hard enough time for a black person to want in today's society. When I, in today's society, without having somebody trying to be a black person, when I see somebody like this, man, you taking a little bit too far. I don't like to me. I don't think she should get fired because she did this shit. No, I don't think she should. She shouldn't get fired over this. To me, I think she should step down. Because one thing is, since this has been aired out, people's going to look at her and say, oh, that's the white bitch want to be a nigga so bad. That's the white bitch just want to be a nigga so bad. That's all it is to it. That's all they're going to see it is, oh, that's the white bitch that want to be a nigga so bad. See what I'm saying? When people do stunts like this, they catch hell like this. When they, when I, I laugh my ass off when I when when this woman got called out on the spot. When she got called out on the spot, I left my ass off. To me, like I said, man, you can't walk around thinking that you're one, um, having a minority issue, having a race issue, because a black person can't say I'm walking around, I'm a white man. I'm a white man trapped in a black man's body. You can't. There's no way to fix that unless y'all has got a that this sort of vitiligo. But you can't. Walk, a black person can't do that. A black person can't walk around saying I'm a white man trapped in a black man's body. Oh my! I'm a white woman trapped in a black woman's body. They can't do that. There's no way to reverse that problem. There's no way to wipe out to get rid of that color. But this woman walks around posing as a black person because she wanted to be black so badly that she lied to be the black. And I don't think that this woman should get... She, 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 I just don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. I'm going to put both the videos in the description box. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel, Cillo Junior 2, Cillo Junior 3. Tell me what you think about this. Don't be a Sith Lord. Be a Jedi. Don't be a dick in a booty ass. Peace, love, and Afro Grease. I'm